we have the cheapest perf plate helmet you can get online. When I got this, it was about $45 on Amazon. With inflation and stuff these days, I look today, it's about $61. The cheapest version of this right here. Here, come get a close-up of this. So as you can see, this helmet has a perf plate, which is to help protect your eyes from incoming uh, pokes, stabs, things like that. So we're gonna test it and see how well it does. This is a very sharp piece of metal right here. If I'd have ran my finger across that, I would have uh, really cut myself pretty bad. I can't, ow, 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 it's poking me. <laughs> All right, I mean, for maybe a smaller adult or uh, kids, it works great. Can you see out of it? Can you see my hand? Yeah. Can you, don't look look at me. Can you see my hand? Yeah. Here? No. You're looking down at 34. Can you see my hand here? A little bit. Can you see through the holes down there at all? No. Does it, does it help your vision? All right, so limited view. So just check, checking out, you can actually remove those pins online that shows it, that it's intended to be a removable visor, but that is the perf plate there. Uh, and I also think that whenever we put this on a stand, the perf plate actually rests on that point inside the helmet, so it actually might that actually might help it hold up. But here we're gonna we're gonna poke it and let's see how it holds up to our destruction test. Okay, so to simulate this being on a person, I taped it to the front of the pal. It gives you a little bit of resistance, like uh, somebody's neck getting pushed back when you hit them. Uh, and then it's about this level because uh, we have. The first is the kid test. See if an 11 year old can bust the perf plate. Okay, so whenever you're ready. <laughs> so this is a good test for something like harness spectin, where you're allowed to poke people and stab people with daggers. <laughs> You sneak. There you go. And that isolate is pretty small, actually. So it is a, a very narrow target. Getting a couple good hits in there. All right. Oh, my gosh. You dented it already. Here, let's check it out. So just from that, you can see here, this is the finish is scratched. And it's already dented in that much. You can do it again if you want. And remember, this is like, oh, you poked it. Did it go through? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, wait, wait, wait. So she already broke the perf plate with that. You can see my finger sticking through there. You already, with a blunted rounded uh, dagger that you would use for like maybe some hardcore HEMA or uh, harness fectin. And that is, were you hitting that pretty hard? Not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. And she already wrecked, she, the test is already basically over, but we're gonna put it to some more abuse. Here, record me doing something real quick. Okay. So yeah, just some, just some light thrust to see how it holds up. Ready? Oops. <laughs> and that was like maybe a, I don't know, 60% thrust. Did you get this picture of that going through there? Yeah. So that is a loss of an eye. Actually, that might go through the eye into something even far worse. If someone were to hit you with the pummel in the head, top of the head. Ready? A dent already. <laughs> Yes, this is, so this is, uh, it's not listed as a helmet that you'd wear into like, you know, full contact battle. But if you were thinking of something cheap like this for SCA, hang on, let me grab this. <laughs> Ready? Oh my God. <laughs> so there you go. That is from a one-handed, just like a, I'm just here hitting you real quick. <laughs> It's and a fail. Can I try that? Alright. Now the children's rattan challenge. Man. Visor. 
wrecked. Okay. So if you just saw about getting this for your kids, <laughs> I can see a change in the outline of the helmet from here. That is two uh, wax of a like one-handed rattan sword. Let's do a pierce damage test. Ready? <laughs> so we actually, with the English bill, I put a hole in it. Can I pause it or? Yeah, you can pause it. Went right through the eye slot. But look, this this one here went through the visor and the actual helmet. All right, so we uh, seem to have smushed the helmet a little bit too. So if you would happen to be like on the ground and someone hit you with it, it would probably smash the helmet right into your face. But as you can see, the damage done here is pretty substantial off a minimal amount of effort. All right, so now it is up to you to do your thing. So as you can see, a total fail for any kind of physical contact. Uh, it is smashed, the perf plate is wrecked, it's Actually, even in the beginning, I couldn't put it on without like cutting my face. So the visor doesn't seem to open anymore. There's holes in it, just from you and I putting it through a little bit, a little bit of an abuse test. Uh, for overall looks, it's a really nice looking helmet. I would not get hit in this whatsoever by anything. Especially, except the hand. Yeah, except maybe like a, a somebody punching with their bare hand. But then they would get hurt. It's true. They would probably get hurt more than you. At least, at least that was one benefit. So, uh, anything as far as cosplay, yes. Contact, no. This is a sixty-dollar most basic perf plate helmet you can buy online. So, as I was saying, maybe we will actually destroy something more expensive, higher end. But as you can see, just went through a perf plate again. This is not safe. And I'm, I'm making a point of it because people will buy this and think, hey, my eyes are protected. But in reality, they're not. I can stick my finger through the whole plate where she detached already. Now, and of course, if you're fighting somebody, it's not common. You're just going to get poked repeatedly in the eyes. But with the recent, <laughs> the recent issues in Armored Combat League with wolf rib helmets, I figured it would be worth a test to, che to check any kind of perf plate you can get cheap online. Water balloon. We'll get it wet. Let it sit. Check in the comments later to see how long it takes for this thing to rust. Oh, the rust test. So <laughs> let that water sit. And uh, ask any questions below in the comments too, but we will give you an update later about the rust challenge on this helmet. How long will it take to rust? Check the comments. Stop back and find out. 